Today, let's discuss mastering your FANUC robot arm. Let's cover when you should do this and how it's accomplished. Our demonstration robot will be the FANUC M20IA, running on an R30IB controller. The first step is understanding if we need to remaster the robot. You don't want to master it if it's not required. I like to look at all the motions and top points to see if they look off or require touch-up. This is a big indicator that your mastering is off. Once we believe that it should be remastered, let's verify it. Jog all the joints to the mechanical zeros. On the teach pendant, select the position button on the keypad. Select joint values, and take a look at the values for any outliers. Now let's cover the reasons when mastering is required. We take a look at the motor here. We have a cable on top. This is the encoder cable. If you remove this at any time, you will need to remaster the robot. The second is the motor itself. If this is dis disconnected mechanically at all to the robot, you will need to remaster. And the third one is when the battery case is removed or the batteries internally fail when the robot is ever powered down. Let's master this robot. Select the menu button, go next, and select system. If you notice, there is no mastering option. So we're gonna have to enable that. Let's go to the variables. Scroll down to master underscore enable. Now select the zero on the master enable. Change it to one. Hit enter. F1 type and the newly enabled master cal is available. We're gonna cover two of these options. Zero position master and single axis master. Zero position master first. This is going to master all your joints at the same time. So you better make sure you have jogged all the joints to their mechanical zero. Select yes. Scroll down to calibrate and select the yes also. The second option we're gonna cover is the single axis master. Select the joint that needs to be remastered. Change the value from a zero to a one. Press execute. and you see the value turns back to a zero. Hit the previous button and calibrate. It's always a good idea to hit the position button and verify that all the joints or the joint that you remastered is actually zeroed out. 